ACH Electronic Payments allows you to pay vendors electronically by creating an ACH file, which is then transmitted to the bank through the bank's website. There are three areas I want to talk about. First, the steps required to set up electronic payments, the basic workflow, starting with invoice payment selection all the way through to generating the ACH file. Then we'll take a quick look at an electronic payment in vendor maintenance, and I'll touch on the changes we made to some of the reports. Let's start with setup. In Accounts Payable Options, we've added a new ACH folder. I'm just going to highlight a few of the options. You'll first need to select the Enable ACH Electronic Payments option to activate the feature for your company. You can choose to print vendor remittance advices or you can use your check forms. If you use check forms, the check will print with zero dollars and the electronic payment information will print on the stub. The vendor remittance advices will use a unique number and during the printing process, the letter E will be added to the number, identifying them as electronic payments. We've also added a new history table to store vendor electronic payments. And this option will allow you to specify the number of years to retain history. Then you'll need to set up the location to store your ACH files once they are generated and are ready to be uploaded to the bank. The next step is to set up your bank information. You'll want to first take a look at Help. Here we've listed the various record types within the ACH file. Most U.S. banks accept the standard ACH file format, but some banks may use a slightly different file structure or they may require some additional information. So your customer will first need to contact their bank for specific instructions. Okay, let's select ACH Interface Maintenance, which is a new program located under the Setup menu. Select the bank that will be used for electronic payments. I'm going to select a bank I've already set up. The main folder contains details for the bank, including routing transit numbers. And the records and additional folders include options and settings for the various record types that make up the ACH file. If your bank uses the standard ACH file format, you're probably only going to need to set up the information on the main folder. The next step is to set up your vendor's bank account information. I'm going to go into vendor maintenance and call up a vendor I've already set up for electronic payments. On the main panel, we've added two new fields. The first field activates the vendor for electronic payment. And the standard entry class field identifies the type of transactions being transmitted and is used specifically for banks that require a separate ACH file to be generated for each different entry class. Again, your bank will need to tell you if this is a requirement. Once you have selected the electronic payment checkbox, you'll have access to the vendor electronic payment screen, which is located under the More button. And we've added a security module option for this because we know that this is sensitive information. Here is where you set up your vendor's bank account information and establish the distribution payments for each account. I've already entered one bank account and I've set the distribution method to percentage of net amount. And I want 100% of the payment to be deposited to this account. You can distribute the payment to one or multiple accounts. Now, before you can pay this vendor electronically, the account information must be approved by the bank. So you'll first need to set the pre-note sent field to no. And then you will need to process the pre-note itself. Now, a pre-note is a $0 amount that is sent to the vendor's bank to verify that the transit and account numbers are correct. And the approval process takes approximately 10 to 15 business days. So the next step is to print and update the pre-note selection register. 
Now you can do this from here, from this screen, or you can select the pre-note selection register from the launcher. Once you have updated the pre-note selection register, the pre-note send field will be set to yes, and the vendor bank account information will be written to the ACH generation table. Now the next step is to run the generate pre-note ACH file. This will create an ACH file for all vendors that have not yet been approved. So it pulls the records from the ACH generation tables and puts them into a formatted ACH file. You then upload your ACH file to the bank and in approximately 10 days you'll receive a confirmation. At that point, you will want to print and update the pre-note approval register. What this does is it sets the pre-note sent field to approved. Now you're ready to process electronic payments for the vendors who have been approved. In invoice payment selection, you can choose to include, exclude, or only process electronic payments. Now if for some reason you can't pay your vendors electronically, you can select this option and they will be paid by check instead. I've already selected to pay two vendors, one by check and one electronically. Check and elect both. Now, bank code to use.